everyone and welcome to my latest video. Today we're going to be looking at Facebook profile links. So how do you get people from your Facebook profile to your business page and how do you get people from your Facebook profile to your website? So my name's Anita Wong and I help you to understand the tools at your fingertips to get the visibility your business and you deserve. So don't forget that if you want to learn more about using Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing and video marketing to grow your business online, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for the next time I upload a new video like this or so that you get notified to join me on my Wednesday live at five. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you obviously need to log into your Facebook account. So go into your Facebook account and then up here, you need to just click your profile picture. When you click your profile picture, that's gonna take you to your Facebook profile. Now, just a reminder, on Facebook, you have your Facebook profile and you also have a Facebook business page. So if you're a business owner, you need to have your Facebook profile set up and you need to have your Facebook business page set up. It's it's super, super important for you to have both your Facebook profile and your Facebook business page in place and up to date so that people can interact with you and find out a little bit more about what it is that you do and what you can offer them on Facebook. Okay, so here we are inside my profile. To find your profile, just go ahead and click your name in the top right hand corner and it's going to take you to your Facebook profile. Now, I want to show you this link just underneath my name here. Discover how I can help you grow your business online and then I have a clickable link. Why would you wanna click that link on your profile? Well, number one, having an option for people to go from Facebook to your online hub in a way, which is what your your website is or a landing page is, is super important because it takes them off of Facebook. Facebook is a social media tool to raise your visibility, but it's not where you wanna put all of your eggs. You don't want all of your eggs in one basket. You need to spread them out. And your website or your landing pages are what you own and you control. So the first thing you wanna do is add this in here. Now you can actually add this in by clicking the edit option and you actually have 101 characters in here to add that link. So you just wanna go off and find that link. So if it's your website, you go to your website and you just copy the first part of the link. So you just go ahead and grab your link and you just copy that and you come back into your Facebook profile and you paste it in here. If like me, you have a landing page and the reason I have my search my social landing page is because I use this link, my search my social dot media forward slash Anita Wong on my Instagram account as well. So when people go from my Instagram profile and my Facebook profile, they're both coming to the same place. So they're both coming here and it means that they can interact with my content without getting confused. So go ahead and copy that and paste that in there. Once you've done that, all you have to do is go ahead and click the save option. So let me just pop in a little star here just so that I get the option for it to change. I'm gonna put a little pineapple actually. So I'm gonna click save. Now that means that that's going to be updated on my Facebook profile. And if I wanted to, I could share this new update into my profile feed. So if I go ahead and click share now, it's actually gonna share that update inside of my feed. So if I just refresh the page, you can see that I've updated my bio and it says discover how I can help you grow your business online. Someone's gonna click that and it's going to open up my search my social landing page, which will give them all the juicy links that I want people to click on in order to connect with me. Of course, that can go straight to your website if you want it to, or it could go to your online shop, or it could go to a booking link or an email sign up, wherever you want to take them from your Facebook profile, you control that link. As long as you keep the full paragraph under 101 characters. Okay, so that's the link number one. The second way of connecting your Facebook profile to your Facebook business page is also super important. When we are interacting inside of Facebook groups, there is so many times I come across somebody who I want to find out what it is that they do as a business. I go to their profile and there's nothing linking them as a business owner to their Facebook business page. And if that happens, I'm lost because what normally happens is that your Facebook business page isn't the same name as you. So mine is the same name as me because that's my personal brand, but most people will have a Facebook business page that doesn't have the same name as them 
as they act as themselves on Facebook. And it's that transition from somebody connecting with you as a friend on Facebook and going to their business page that I wanna show you how to do today. So all you have to do is here in the intro here, this is what I'm talking about. So when I say the boss at Anita Wong, if I click that, it's going to immediately open up my Facebook business page and they can immediately make that connection between me as a person and me as a business owner. So for you to do that, all you have to do is go up here to edit details here, click that and it's going to give you lots of different options. So in here it says, I've already done my, um, my intro, the bio, now I wanna do my work. So I want to make sure that everybody who connects with me on Facebook as a person knows that I'm on Facebook as a business owner as well. And I wanna make it super easy for them to connect with me between the two. So all you have to do is you have to click add a workspace and then it's going to ask you to add a workplace. So go ahead and click add a workplace. Then what it's gonna do is it's going to ask you to add the company. Now, if you click that and you start writing your Facebook business page name, so if I just click in here, Anita Wong, as you can see, it immediately brings me up. So I click that and that's going to link me from my profile to my Facebook business page. Now, the position, you can actually write in what you want. So I put the boss at, so I'm gonna put, um, owner just for the example of this one okay and then I'm going to click out of it so I didn't click any of the ones that they gave me the options I just clicked outside of it and I'm going to put I currently work here and if you want to you can put the year you don't have to put the year if you don't want to and then all you have to do is click save and it's automatically going to save that to my profile so just let, let it do its business and there you see it says owner at Anita Wong now if I go back to my overview so if I just go back to the overview and I go back to me so if I click up here on my profile as you can see it's put me as the owner of Anita Wong I click that and it's going to automatically open the page so that immediately gives that connection between me as a person on Facebook and my business page. So what I'd like you to do is go and have a little look at your own profile and see whether you've got that connected. And if you haven't, please make sure you do that so that people who connect with you in maybe a Facebook group or a Facebook networking event that you're on can actually connect with you as a business owner as well. Okay, so these were two super quick ways of you connecting your Facebook profile, who you interact with a lot because you are yourself in Facebook groups, which is a growing community on Facebook and it's super, super important that you have that connection and also how they can actually go from you as a profile. You've, you've saved that all important space in your profile bio for a link to your business assets. If you have any questions about what you've learned in this video, then please do drop them in the comments under this video and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget that if you've enjoyed this content to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for the next time I upload a new video just like this on Facebook marketing or I go live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. If you ring the bell, you'll get notified of that. All I have to say is have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye for now.